Have you ever had to document a process or create training on how to do something? Save time by using Snagit to create your process documentation. In this tutorial, we'll use Snagit to record a process, capture and edit screenshots from the video, and then send the captures right to Microsoft Word. I'll be documenting how to create an account on screencast.com. Before you start recording, it's helpful to prepare your desktop by opening the windows you plan to record and closing everything else. When you're ready, mouse over the capture window and click the capture button. Using the crosshairs, select the portion of the screen you want to record and choose the capture video option. To record your voice, turn on microphone audio in the video recording toolbar. A narrated screencast can be a handy resource along with your document. When you're ready, click the record button. You'll see a three, two, one countdown, and then Snagit will begin recording. To create a free screencast.com account from the TechSmith homepage, go to techsmith.com and mouse over the products option. You get the idea. When you're done, click the stop button or press the hotkey, Shift F10. After the recording is stopped, your video will open in Snagit Editor. The video controls are found below the video. Press the play button to preview your video. Click and drag the playhead to go to a specific point on the timeline, or click the previous and next frame buttons to move frame by frame. Using these controls, locate a specific frame of the video you would like to capture, and press the capture frame button. Snagit captures an image of that frame, places it at the front of the open captures tray, and displays it on the canvas. To distinguish a video from an image in the capture tray, look for the film strip edge and the duration. Return to the video by selecting it in the tray. Move the playhead to find the next frame you'd like to capture, and grab the image. Continue capturing frames until you have all you need. Once you have all your images, you can label the steps in each one. To start, Choose the first screenshot of your process from the Open Captures tray. Then, select the Step tool from the Tools tab. The Step tool is used to add incremental numbers or letters to a screenshot. Select a style you like from the Styles gallery, and click where you want to add the first step. You can move the step, change its size by clicking and dragging the handles, or customize it using the menus. If you create a style you'd like to use again, Right-click the step and select Add to Quick Styles. Then it'll be here for you to use anytime. Label the steps you'd like to show in your screenshot. Notice how the style stays the same and the numbers increment automatically. When you're finished labeling the steps, select the next image in the Open Captures tray. Click to place the next step. If you want to continue your sequence from the previous image, right-click on the step and select Edit Value. Then enter the number or letter you'd like and click Save Value. When you place the next step, Snagit will increment based on the number you entered. When you're done editing images, use the outputs on the Share tab to send your captures to popular destinations. You can use any of these outputs or find more by clicking the Accessories Manager and selecting More Accessories. For this example, I'm going to send my images to Microsoft Word. Place your cursor where you want the image to go and click the Word Output button. Your image appears at the location of your cursor. Continue setting images to Word until you have all of your images in your document. If you have any questions or want to give us feedback, you can find us at feedback.techsmith.com. Thanks for watching!